Is Haley Deegan about to join IndyCar? Welcome back to Breakheart. I'm Matt. Haley Deegan was spotted at Iowa Speedway on Friday hanging out around the Indy NXT garages and it now has people wondering, is she about to make a switch from NASCAR and the stock car world over to IndyCar and the open wheel world? She did just recently follow Indy NXT as well as Andretti Autosport on Instagram. So some people are thinking that, you know, where there's a little smoke, there might be some fire here. And now that she's hanging out at the track, it certainly seems like there might be something going on here. It would be a curious switch, right? It's like dropping out of engineering school and then trying to go to medical school and they're like what are your qualifications to be here none all right well go ahead and sign us up because we'd love to have you what doesn't really make that much sense it's like a football player being like hey i want to go play baseball why do you want to do that oh because they both have balls well they're two completely different things yeah but they have balls andy car has four wheels nascar has four wheels same thing they're not but it would be interesting to see what she can do right and i don't think that Haley deegan is an untalented race car driver i just don't think that she necessarily had had the uh, development pipeline or development path rather in stock cars that was going to ever lead to success for her now we've seen her in really good equipment both at dgr as well as thor sport in the truck series her am racing equipment certainly is not race winning equipment but it should be as joy logano proved running better than where she currently was at now her hanging around the indy nxt area is kind of curious because that series does have a number of ovals including races still this year to come at both gateway well at gateway milwaukee as well as nashville so if she's going to make a start on an oval there's plenty of opportunities for her to do that later this year just obviously not at iowa this upcoming weekend now it is a series that also is predominantly run on road courses they do have a you know few ovals here at the end of the year but a lot of their races are on road courses where Haley deegan hasn't exactly set the world on fire when it comes to her nascar career she does have a top 10 finish in the truck series on a road course at mid ohio but the rest of the time her road course you know finishes have been pretty average this year in the xfinity series she has a 23rd place finish at circuit of the americas and then her finishes at both portland and sonoma were in the 30s not ideal considering there's only 38 cars that are going to be on the racetrack so it's not like she's this road course ace by any means and the arca west series she had two top tens at sonoma and arca west but Again, while there are cup guys in that field, uh, it's hard to gauge, you know, her success off of that. So her making the switch over to a series that runs a lot of road courses and a car that she's never driven before in a type of car that she, I don't think has ever driven before would be a very curious move. That's why I think that ovals are probably what she's going to, if she makes a start this year, going to be focused on. Now, if she ends up with the Andretti Autosport team, that is the best possible landing spot for her. And obviously she has some sort of Ford contract. It would be interesting to see if that is now void and she's not a part of the ford performance pipeline anymore what exactly is going to go on with that she does have some sponsorship with her and if she's going to look at getting away from nascar and going over here then maybe there is an opportunity for her it would be a very curious move though i mean she's certainly young enough to make the switch if she wants to but having no previous experience in any type of open wheel car that i can find she didn't race you know go-karts professionally karting can't see any of that she doesn't have any junior formula experience in usf usf pro usf 2000 nothing along those lines i mean there's got to be something driving this and maybe it is just wanting to go out there and see if she can do something different it just doesn't feel like the you know indycar is going to be the spot for her but we've all been surprised before it's not to say that she can't do it i'm just you know curious as to why this would be the path because she has a lot of experience in stock cars and she can in the right situation can perform in a stock car now maybe those situations just aren't available they don't have the budget for it anything that goes along with that completely understand maybe she does just want to try indycar and you know indy nxt and see if there's a path for her to go forward over there completely on board with all of that find some place that you're going to be able to be successful at totally cool with that it is just kind of a curious move in the middle of the season so so hopefully we find out soon if she's going to make starts over in Indy NXT. Is she going to join Andretti Autosport? Is she just hanging out in Iowa for the weekend and wanted to stop by and check it out? So that seems highly unlikely. Maybe she just really liked the graphic design that they put together for the schedule this weekend for Iowa. And she's like, hey, I got to go check this place out now. Now, obviously, there's something going on here. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if we get the smoke to come up like it's Vatican City. And we got a new pope. We got Haley Deegan a ride over here. She is now one of the most polarizing characters in motorsports every time 
time anybody talks about her, there's people on one side that are super aggressive and passionate about it, and another side that's like, just get rid of her. And honestly, I think she probably falls somewhere in the middle. I don't think she's ever going to be a NASCAR Cup Series winner, probably never going to be an Xfinity Series winner, but I think she's perfectly fine at being a formidable race car driver, just never one that's going to be a contender week in and week out, if that makes sense. Her making the move to open wheel, though, is an interesting one. I'll say that. I don't necessarily know the direction that it's going to go, but I'll certainly tune in to find out just to see if her, you know, skills can correlate over to, you know, open wheel car. I mean, heck, Jimmy Johnson looked like an absolute scrub on the road courses in any car. All of a sudden, you put him on an oval and he's running top five because he absolutely knows how to handle a car on an oval. So maybe in Haley Deegan's case, this would be a perfect spot for her to be successful in in the NXT, probably just on ovals. And the rest of the time, she's going to be fighting at the back like Lindsey Brew. RIP to her career in Indian NXT and you know trying to struggle to stay on the lead lap who knows but hey it's worth a test right because you don't have anything else going on in NASCAR at the moment so let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen with her and the Indy NXT series like and subscribe to the channel follow me on TikTok at break hard Instagram and Twitter at break hard blog